It is time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. Just went through a, a round of turns. A lot of movement on the board. Lots of interesting things happening. So f let's talk about the robots first, I suppose. So our Hellabot here is got a damaged drive. Hellabot's a really good bot, but if its drive gets damaged, it, it, it gets uh, its abilities decrease quite quickly uh, versus, say... When the hoverbot gets damaged, it, it only loses one movement point. The hellabot loses four. Four is bigger than one. So the hellabot's still on fire, trying to get to the water here, <coughs> um, but not able to do so because it's so slow. Uh, Rocketbot is just kind of, they, they both disengage and went to the wood to kind of hide from each other. Um, Hellabot trying to get to the water. Tankbot is watching the water, so as soon as the hellabot gets there, Dancing Bear can can shoot. Uh, meanwhile, the spider bot is creeping up on the tank bot, so that's that could be a problem as well for the tank bot. But the tank bot's kind of in a good position. Dancing Bear feels like she hasn't been damaged yet. She's got good guns that she can shoot. Um, over here we have the hover bot, which rebooted. Um, so Tinkerbell was able to get rid of all the disable markers that were on her, but her tank is empty, which is too bad because she has got primarily electrical attacks, so she needs to recharge, start recharging, but that's going to be problematic because the car bot, or the robo car, having rebooted, is coming up around, going to try and get her again, so that's the situation there. Which team has got the, the advantage? I'm, it's tough to say. They're, they're kind of each do in their own way. It's still kind of a stalemate, I think. Um, the survivors have had an interesting round of movement. Um, Junior and Smiley have both uh, had to deal with some bad events. They've got some good events as well on the Wilderness Encounter table, but the bad events have kind of outweighed the good, I think, overall, especially in Smiley's case. She's down to three movement, so close to the end, but she really doesn't know if she can make it, so she's just been sitting there trying to drink water. Uh, Junior had to do that a lot as well, kind of been trapped in this river area, hard to, for him to get out because as soon as he does, he starts to uh, get thirsty and, and yeah, it's been really hard on him. Worse though is Cupid Doll. Cupid Doll got as good as she could from this space but then had to venture out. Unfortunately, her starvation ha has, has gotten the best of her and now she's down to one movement. She can't really get anywhere um, I guess her only choice right now is either to go back to the river, which isn't going to help because, you know, starvation is kind of her main problem now. Water is as well. Or go through the desert. Now, if she goes through the desert, she's got one, two, three, four, five, six turns before she gets to water, seven, eight before she gets to food. So if we look at that, she's, she's going to be dead either way, I think. I don't know what she can do right now, except hope for a good roll on this. Um, she might brave the desert. Well, no, I don't think she can. Even, she can't even walk through the desert. So her only hope is to go back to this watering hole, <laughs> and that's not much of a hope. Uh, Chinky's got a little bit more hope. He's been sitting and eating for several, several turns now, um, eating and drinking and just kind of enjoying himself in this base, preparing his body for the arduous trek ahead across the rest of the board. Cupid Doll has made it back to the river, but she's collapsed. She cannot move any longer. So unless she rolls lucky and gets this, um, she's probably going to be dead soon. So if you if you look here, life level is going to go down, then down to two, and then she she'll just starve to death. She'll have plenty of water to drink though, so that's good. Dancing Bear is in a bit of a quandary. She's in her turret position, ready to hit that hellabot that, that predictably went into the water. Hellabot felt like uh, he or she had to because she was on fire, or he was on fire, and it was just continued to damage the hellabot. Could have hoped to roll a five in order to have the fire just go out, but thought it better to risk getting shot again. Although, that could just make it on fire once more, right? But not while it's in the water, so that's okay. Uh, but the spider bot crept up on dancing bear so now she's split on what to do she decided to just stay she's gonna have to decide who to attack whether to hit the healthy robot or the robot that she could well destroy 
Braza just revealed his howitzer. Now the howitzer it, uh, can hit the Hellebot even though there's woods in the way because the Hellebot is painted by this UAV here. So he's gonna roll two dice. Where are my two dice? Oh, right here. And if he hits, it's gonna damage four locations. That's a five. Well, that's enough to hit. So that Hellebot's in big trouble right now. Three, one, two, and three and zero. All right, let me get some damage markers out. After the car bot came up behind her, Tinkerbell is going to reveal this viral bayonet and attempt to hit the car bot. It's got to roll a five and then something positive after that in order to hit the, the robo car. Sorry, I keep saying car bot. And she missed. I don't know if, I guess that takes an energy. Spider bot reveals a Tesla gun. Gonna hit the tank with that and the Tesla gun automatically hits so you roll it does one damage automatically and then disable one target item one of the targets items so I gotta use an energy on that all right zero so that's gonna be a damage on this right here and I don't know that that needs to be revealed Dancing Bear is shooting a missile at our Hellebot here, which is currently dead in the water. There we go. That's going to hit uh, one and two. One or two. Two would go to here. One would destroy this. I think she'll go with the one and get rid of this card. Two cards now. That's the superconductors. Uh, two cards now are off of the Hellebot. Hellebot is in trouble. I forgot she was going to use the powered up uh, effect of that, and so she's got to... That means she gets to attack three times and then disable, I believe? Damages. Oh, okay, it just damages the guided missile afterwards. So she gets to roll two more times on the Hellebot. And that's... One or two again, so it's going to hit the... Damage the targeting laser, which gets rid of it. She's just trying to take it out. One more. That's one or zero. She hits no matter what because it's painted. She just has to get a one. And so she hits and that's gonna go into the, the power core. If this gets hit one more time, uh, Hellebot's out of the game. Robocar revealed its flamethrower about to try to ignite the Hoverbot. And that's going to ignite it for sure. Now this is burst fire. So it's going to hit multiple locations. One and two both get damaged. That's going to further damage the drivetrain and then also this EMP blaster. And Tinkerbell's on fire. Let's check back in with our survivors here. Um, Smiley, she's, she keeps going in random directions, so she's having a hard time leaving this area. It's been hard on her. She still has a good shot of getting out, though. I mean, she's not too far away. Problem is, this river is kind of rough terrain, but then the, the river also gives her the water she needs to keep from dying. Junior, he's really close. He's kind of... He wants to drink a little bit more water, because if he loses water again, he's going to go down and really have a hard time. So he's just been waiting and drinking water. Chinky's doing well. He got to yet another outpost. That's the final one before the final stretch here. Uh, but he's healthy, hale and hearty, doing well for himself. Um, yeah, I feel, I feel good about him. And this is gonna have to be our first goodbye. Cupid doll has passed on. She just, she starved to death. Didn't, didn't have the, the special role she needed in order to survive, to get a little bit more food in her belly. I, I think that might have just delayed the inevitable. Um, she just kept going down, going down, and now she's gone. Um, so you're not going to be returning to the tournament, Cupid doll. You're out of it forever, I suppose. Place you back in the pile. Goodbye. Taking her place <laughs> is none other then Bix Beetleman. This feels bittersweet to me. Um, it, it, 
I'm happy to see him. I always enjoy playing with Bix, but seeing him in this situation, it's kind of scary to me because I don't want to see him go. I mean, Cupid Doll was great. I wasn't as attached to her as I am Bix, though. Um, it's hard to admit that. I try to be impartial, but I do have some people I gravitate more towards, and Bix is one of them. I, I would hate to see him die a slow death like we just witnessed Cupid Doll. I mean, I didn't like to see it with her either, but Bix. Both Junior and Smiley have made it out. That means we're going to draw two new people to replace them. And that's going to be uh, Coonies? Is that that? Yeah, Coonies. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen Coonies. And Cowboy. Wow. Old friends. Cowboy got a bum roll to start off. He um, got the event where he has to sit there for two turns right at the beginning, right at the mouth of this trail. He was looking forward to riding on that trail. But he's going to have to wait a whole two turns. And those are two turns where he's going to be slowly dying. Um, another fun thing, though, that's actually fun, unlike sitting there for two turns, Coonies and Bix are in the same place. And I think they might have make for some interesting conversation partners. So I, I like that. Coonies got a good role to start off with. It goes right to the food and water hex there. Um, Bix is hanging out. So we'll move his marker to two. And then Chinky, we'll go ahead and just do his roll. He's all full up and ready to move. Three, so he can go as many as he wants in one direction. I think he's gonna just run across this field here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, we're back to the firing round again. Um, Rocketbot couldn't shoot anything, the spider bot that crept up behind him is outside of his range. All of his guns are facing forward. Um, Hellabot couldn't do anything. Now it's time for <clears throat> Tinkerbell with her Rectenna. She's gonna fire a disabling burst um, at the Robocar. This is gonna disable everything she rolls. So three, two, and zero are all disabled. So that would be Chemical, flamethrower, wow, both the weapons and whatever this is here are all disabled. Spiderbot's attacking the rocket bot with the Tesla gun. That's going to damage the power core of the rocket bot there because the drive is gone. Um, and then Bros has to decide on something to disable. I think he'll probably disable the electrochemical blah blah blahs because that's not that useful to him right now. Too bad for the Robocar that those chemical rockets got uh, disabled. Robocar was planning on using the accelerant on the on-fire hoverbot, which would have removed its skin and messed it up quite a bit more. Um, but instead, Robocar's got to be satisfied with the recoilless rifle here, which is still decent. Um, yeah, that's a lot right there. So, okay, so five, uh, two or zero location. Two would get rid of the EMP blaster. Zero would go to the, yeah, I think we'll go for the power core. Oh, and it does double if, oh, actually if you pick the two, it, it, it does double. So we'll pick the two. So that gets rid of this and then moves the damage onto that. Exciting times on the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. We are seeing some people actually get removed from the tournament, and we're seeing who's going to have a chance in the careers portion of the game, which is coming up after this whole outdoor survival thing. Um, the robot battle is definitely heating up. We have a couple bots that could be removed from the game very soon. Um, several are damaged. I think only the spider bot is left unscathed at this point. Everyone else has seen some scars as the battle's gone on. We'll find out what happens next time on the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament Ottoman slash French Leg 2 Kriegbot.